Thanks. Here you go, sir. Abolition. Abolition is, yeah. Okay, what are we abolishing? Abortion. Oh, good. Pick them up and transport. Kind does that take it? Huh? It is Christ that we come to you to preach. But to rescue those who are being led to the slaughter. And what is happening today and across the nation is the dismemberment of that child. Hey, it's been nice talking to you. Please, I am offering you a reprieve. You're actually louder without the amplified sound. Gentlemen, we're calling, calling attention to the Holocaust in our midst, and we're just asking you to consider some literature. Would you take a second? We are totally against abortion. Right, no, everybody is, but we're asking people, what are they doing about it, right? So, like, are we doing anything to stop it? How you doing, sir? Doing anything to stop what? Stop the abortion holocaust that's going yeah, on in our midst. Yeah. I hope he defunds Planned Parenthood. That would be one big step, huh? Well, actually, like, if someone was, like, sinning, committing adultery, we wouldn't say, like, like if they're hiring a prostitute, like, stop, like, like, stop paying for sex. You know, we would say stop committing adultery, right? Mm -hmm. So, really, the problem isn't to defund Planned Parenthood. The problem is that we're allowing child sacrifice in the first place. Does that make sense? So defunding is like, to me anyways, as a Christian, it's not a Christian position. We would, God would have us say, end abortion now, right? Of course, but yeah. it would be a step. Well, it would be a step for Planned Parenthood, right? But for us as the people of God, it's not a step for us because we're already against abortion, right? So like not funding it, it should be something we're already not doing, right? But, but you wouldn't be against it. Huh? You wouldn't be against it. Against what? Uh, defunding Planned Parenthood. I, I'm for abolishing them, which that includes defunding. I am too. I yeah. am too. I I'm for I abolishing them. I put them all in jail and then hang them. That's you do? Much of, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me absolutely furious. See, like, we, we actually, as a people of God, can stand up and we can do something to stop it. And that's what, that's what abolition is doing. It's just Christians standing up all over the nation, holding to the Word of God, and not compromising, you know? So, like, the Supreme Court uh, legalized it. Well, if we, if, we, if we obey the Supreme Court, right, over God, then who's our God? You see what I'm saying? I don't obey the Supreme Court over God. I'm just saying that that's a, one of the powers you're against. That... Well, the one thing that we've, we're learning is that, like, the Supreme Court is not, is not, they're not, they cannot make laws. That's not their job. Their job they is have. to offer opinions. They, they have. Right, but that's against our Constitution. I know that. Right. They don't care. Right, they don't care, but we as the people, like, there's only nine of them, right? So if like the people, I say like, say there's 5,000 pastors here and all those 5,000 pastors were to go tell their congregations, we'd have hundreds of thousands of Christians remonstrating and talking to, you know, the world and saying, hey, we need to end abortion. And we'd be saying the right things like abolish abortion rather than defund Planned Parenthood. We'd be saying we need to end abortion. In Texas, uh, there's a bill, HB 948, we just put forward right now that would end abortion and make it illegal and ignore the Supreme Court of the United States holding that the Supreme Court of the United States has perverted the Constitution. If they reverse Roe versus Wade and throw it back to the states, then the states, one by one, uh, very might, might very well uh, abolish it in their state. Right now, like our, our founding document, it's illegal in our nation to murder children in the womb. Yes. Our founding documents make it and it's pretty clear. But what we're all, see the thing is that the people are going along with what the government says rather than what God says, right? So if like they legalized rape, in our nation, right, we wouldn't sit back and say, well, the Supreme Court legalized rape, you know? We would say, no, absolutely not. We have to stop it now. And so we're not doing that same thing when it comes to abortion. We're not saying, we're not remonstrating and saying, hey, no, you gotta stop this. You know what I mean? We're, we're actually taking the position that, that the, because if God says thou shalt not murder, I'm to obey God rather than man. So when the courts, the man's courts say, you can murder, then, I'm, I'm responsible to say, no, I have to obey God rather than man, right? Absolutely. And then do everything uh, that God has instructed me to do in that situation. Does that make sense? Yes. Cool. I agree with you. I agree with you. Cool. Yeah, we're just looking for people. There's a lot of misinformation about what we're doing and what we're saying. I hope you read it. And um, we're going to be here uh, a little bit and we'll love to talk to you. Which, what's your name? Rich. Rich. Nice to meet you, Rich. My name is Danny Inger. Hi, Danny Inger. Oh, uh, are you from? I'm, just here. I'm here from Alabama. I'm here for the conference. You know? Cool. Uh, we're just on our way to lunch. Yeah. I'm going to come pick me up. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. You weren't part of the group that was going to come here the other day, abolish abortion. Abolish human abortion? Yeah. Yeah, I'm an abolitionist, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
they what were they saying we were going to do? That you were going to uh, come and disrupt the conference with a protest, like come in and uh, a group of people. Oh, yeah. Well, the scene. we have a bunch of believers, and we're just trying to get literature out to people that you would consider our argument. So are you a Christian? Yeah, I'm a slave of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Is he God? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. And it's by faith alone? By faith alone, and absolutely. And who he is and what he did? Absolutely. Okay, I just want to make it, because there's a lot of yeah. people that say they're Christians, but they don't believe he's God. Yeah, right. <laughs> and they don't talk about the resurrection. That's right. I'm, no, absolutely. I'm an like, like we, Ariana, Ariana, can you come over here? Thank you for handing that stuff out. Just stay out of the sidewalk. The the thing is that, um, oh, I kind of lost my train of thought there. You were saying, uh, oh yeah, the reason you know what we're doing is Jesus came and abolished death, right? Uh -huh. And so we're following in His footsteps and we're working to abolish abortion. As he did, because he abolished death, right? Well, he didn't abolish dying, physical true, death. True, true. He abolished spiritual death. True. If you, if well, you he he abolished him. he abolished the the even the sting of death. Like those of us yeah. who are gonna live forever, we're we're death is nothing. You know, yeah. we're gonna be. That's only for a select few. Huh? Only for a select few. Those that trust for, in him. For those that are his. Yeah. 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 So, we're working to call the church to. Uh, obey him and follow in his footsteps. Get, get more involved, huh? Yeah. Well, really repent of, of, guys, we don't look at abortion right, you know? Like, if, if they were doing something, like, we get all mad when they, like, for instance, in Texas, the pastors were being like, uh, you have to give your servants to us. Mm -hmm. And the pastors all got together and had a conference, and they were, no, we're not going to comply. Right? That. But we haven't kind of done that same attitude with abortion, you know? I have to go. All right, man. Rich, have a good day. Nice Rich, bye -bye. thank you. Jesus, I stand for you.